In Luke 19, we're given the story of Zacchaeus, who had a heart to see Jesus, no matter what his stature. We're given the parable of the ten servants, and we're starting to see the crescendo of Jesus' earthly ministry. Luke records for us the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. But at the end of the chapter, there's something interesting. I would like to read it to you. It comes from starting in verse 45 of Luke 19. The word tells us that Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out the people selling animals for sacrifices. And he said to them, the scriptures declare my temple will be a house of prayer, but you, you have turned it into a den of thieves. Here's what I find so interesting about gentle Jesus. When Jesus encounters the temple, the place where the people of God were come to meet with God, when he finds it to be a place of, well, distraction, production, show, entertainment, commerce, he, gentle Jesus, drives out those who have taken his temple which was meant to be a place for people to come and simply meet with God. He drives out all the distractions and he makes this very insightful claim. My house is to be called a house of prayer. See, prayer, it's intimacy with God. It's conversation with God. It's connecting with God. And this morning, here's what I'd like to encourage you. With so much going on around us, don't miss the very reason God set up his temple in you and me. See, the Bible teaches us that we no longer have to meet in a building made with hands, but we are the temple of God. And you and I have been made the place, the temple where God would say, listen, I want to connect with you. I want to be in conversation with you. I want to be in relationship with you because of what my son has done. Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. And today, let me encourage you. God doesn't necessarily want something from you. He simply wants you to be with him, to be one who in your house, your temple, your day, you're connected, you're in conversation, you're in relationship with God because of what Jesus has done. Listen, Jesus is the one and the only one who has the ability to bring restoration to life, to rebuild, to restore, and he desires that you would today connect with him in prayer.